Um, so but we then, stayed in Flagstaff. Yeah, we made it to Flagstaff. No, so when we got in Flagstaff, <laughs> where, <laughs> did we? When, when we got into oh, the town yeah. of Flagstaff, yeah, I'm like, does anybody else smell bacon? <laughs> yeah. And my first response was, it smells like Denny's. <laughs> Why does this town smell like Denny's? And then... <laughs> That's exactly what I <laughs> And then you perfectly, like, two seconds later, were like, oh, this is where dog food's made. <laughs> Fun fact, if you're wondering, Flagstaff is home to a pur- Purina dog chow factory. Yeah, it is. And, and it smells for some reason, it smells like Denny's. <laughs> According to Tim, he he was more scared about the fact of does dog food really smell like Denny's, or do I just really like the smell of dog food, or does or is Denny's dog food? <laughs> or is Denny's dog food? Now my- <laughs> Live from Las Vegas. Welcome back. Not live, no, I guess. Can't. Oh my god! <laughs> live two weeks in the past. <laughs> in the future past. <laughs> Recorded live two weeks in future past. That's a good one. That's a good. Uh, uh, back to the podcast. All right. Well, yeah. It's uh, if Rec- you're if you're a long time listener, you already know where this goes. Uh, welcome, welcome to the Dirt Drive Podcast. I'm Tom. I'm here with uh, with Tim. What's up, guys? Apparently, it's not Trevor like Nation. Uh huh. And uh, our dear friend PJ. What up? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we uh, we are technically in a weird way live from, from future past from future past in Las Vegas. Um, is it? It's not gonna be two weeks. It'll be next week. Next week, yeah. So It'll it's not, be not the, that, that far future past. Uh, Seventh, yeah, I think. Yeah, we are. Uh, we're in good old Las Vegas for the uh, the SEMA show. You guys have heard all of our pre trip antics, antics, and uh, ramblings about. About the trip, so. and you'll you'll see all of our trip antics when we're here posting yep. live and everything. Yeah, hopefully you guys have been following along. But uh, yeah, we just like, we just completed day one of SEMA, day one but of we're going to recap done. our recap our thirty six hour. I guess yep. it was what almost forty eight hours altogether uh, road trip. Yeah, totally. Yeah. With, with stops and everything, and, yeah. and our one overnight, we we were here in like forty seven hours. Yeah. yeah, which I feel like is pretty impressive and we got a full night's sleep we did. yeah so we got a few full nights sleep i think we all slept yeah a total yeah, of i think we, we did pretty six good. hours you didn't sleep at all in the car pj no no i was like half asleep for half of it oh That's were, lot, you, were you driving that which was, is why pj was, only drove once it was like that fire department sleep where you just kind of like awake but not yeah, yeah. The, the slightest thing wakes you up well you also had the like, you also oh, had the hardest go. driving portion yeah from midnight to I, like and 4 i also stayed awake for everyone else's driving portion that's rough. In the front seat. So you, you were super supposed rel- to do that. I know, but I can't help it. You were super relieved when we pulled in the Flagstaff, and you're like, yeah. all right, I get to sleep with Tom tonight. Yeah. <laughs> that was out. Could be worse. I mean, all of us got a straight eight oh, hours in yeah, Flagstaff. We, we all it walked was... into that hotel room. And changed, just laid down. Laid down. <laughs> and then that was it. We were all awake. Oh, yeah. Like, it was like 5.45, and all I, of us were like, all right, time to get back on the, the road. I've never woken up at that time. Naturally, yeah. Never in my life, yeah. the dude behind the desk when we checked in, he's like, "This is gonna be a weird hotel. I don't want to. Cl- I don't want to clean this room. Four big dudes and two beds. <laughs> Jokes on him. All we did was sleep, yeah, and leave. And their breakfast was terrible. It was terrible. Worst it was, continental breakfast I've ever seen in my life. Four slices of white bread, <laughs> yeah, and half a bagel. There was half a bagel. <laughs> like, there. what? Yeah, their coffee was. So then we sad. then we tried to go to. Two different Del I think we're getting ahead here. We're, yeah, we're yeah. not in chronological order. Let's go order. in future past. Yeah, so let's, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> right? That's, 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 <laughs> that's, oh, that was that's terrible. That's, 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 that's the tape rewinding. Virginia. <laughs> that was a good one, PJ. Yep. The real Ace Ventura. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave the noises to PJ. Please. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so uh, when we started is, I guess you guys were at the shop. Yeah, so Tre- and then- Trevor and I got a little work done mm-hmm. Saturday morning, um, wrapped up a couple of loose ends, and uh, went and picked up the rental car, which uh, I guess we haven't, outside of social media posts, we we scored a pretty sweet rental car. Yeah. Um, we were getting an intermediate SUV listed as a Nissan Rogue or similar, and uh, checked in. We're looking at it, and I see, in the corner of my eye, I see some red tow hooks. I'm like, oh. I think that's a Trailhawk Cherokee over there. So we could, Trevor's all pessimistic. Oh, that's 
that's a premium car. Yeah. I didn't say that. So, I said it's parked yeah. in the national section. Yeah, that doesn't count. And we were renting from Alamo. Yeah, they same don't thing. they same don't thing. normally same cross. Thing. Same Mr. Enterprise over here. Yeah, he knows he knows. Yeah, you're right. Really nitpicking that word that ass. work experience doesn't give me any clue as to yeah. how that business runs. No, has no uh, you know it. Uh but yeah, and then we we were told pick any car in zone three. And we immediately went to the Cherokee Trailhawk because <laughs> what better thing to have than a quote unquote trail rated <laughs> almost anything that vehicle. gets better than twenty seven miles a gallon because I think we averaged twenty three coming in. It was like twenty four ish. It was twenty four. We were twenty four change. It's the red tow hooks. It's the yeah. red tow hooks. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they really slow you down a little bit. We'll, <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. Wait. Don't worry, we'll have about three hundred pounds less of man yes. on the way home. Hey, so hey, we'll, and, hey. we'll and hit about that hundred 20- pounds less of snacks. Yeah. So yeah, but we're all gonna weigh a hundred pounds more. It, it, fair. <laughs> Uh, maybe 75 each. I lost weight last time we were here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, picked up the rental car and mm-hmm. uh, went about our ways, basically to say goodbye to our wives. And then Trevor slowly started picking everybody up. And when him uh, and- before that, I had to go back to the shop. Oh, yeah. Well, because Tom forgot everything. everything. Well, well, you well, forgot the credentials at the shop? No, I forgot uh, uh, stickers, the drive business shaft, cards, business cards. The drive shaft that we had to drop off at Adam's. Yeah, you forgot um, your stickers that you put on the car. Yeah. So, so I'm alone with shop stickers right now. Yeah. I'm sitting there waiting outside the bank in Leesburg. Thanks for Trevor for lives wife. close by. And I get the call from him, and he's like, hey, you're not planning on going back to Sterling at any point, are you? I was like, nope, wasn't really was planning like, on it. You I are st- now. I still got a pack. And he's like, oh, would you mind going back to shop? I kind of left everything there. I'm like, where are you? He's like, I'm already in Percival. Like, Jesus. Damn it. <laughs> so I end up going all the way back to the shop, scared the crap out of Brian, uh. who was working there that day, because I walked in. He was nowhere to be seen. I'm like, I don't have time for this. I walked in the office. He had closed the door to the shop. And so when he showed back up, the door is wide open. He had asked the tire guys oh, next shit. door to watch <laughs> the shop. And so I hear him, like, jiggling the doors and stuff, checking to see if the interior doors are open. And I just run over as fast as I can and whip the door open. That <laughs> poor man has so many medical problems, you're going to give him more. Yes. <laughs> That's the idea. Yep, but yeah. That's the then, idea? Yeah. You don't want to kill Brian. You, then, then we started, love you, buddy. You can't afford to kill Brian. <laughs> then started slowly picking everyone up. I got to PJ's house, and he was not home. Uh, <laughs> so his wife comes out and I went I'm like, and got a haircut. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, where's like your so husband? Fresh. She's like, he's getting a haircut. I was like, at this time? <laughs> so, uh, we're leaving now. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, well, technically, you guys said 3.30. And I was like, uh-huh. And? <laughs> what time was it when you got there? It was like 3.15. Oh. It wasn't anything crazy. Sure. First place I went to, he was like, yeah, I got. I don't have anything open until 5. And I was like, well, I'll be gone by then, so that's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go? Did you go to like Mickey's or something? Well, there's a uh, barber shop inside of Hamilton that I go to sometimes. Okay. So I went there first because it's closer to our house. And then I went into Percival. You gotta hold your mic a little bit different there, bud. Can barely I'm hear you. I'm literally right in front of the microphone there, bud. Yeah, you gotta hold it aimed at your Why mouth. Why do I need there to do that? There it is. Because they're, Cause they're cause dynamic mics and it doesn't pick up. So, as I'm waiting for PJ, Lauren goes, Oh, I picked up a couple things at Costco for yeah, you guys. A couple things. And so, Some in my head, provisions. she had he had sent me the picture of what she had bought at the store. And so I'm looking in the photo. I'm like, oh, yeah, probably the Rice Krispie Treats, the trail mix. Like, all right, cool. And then proceeds to unload 15 different boxes well, into I got the, the text, rental car. Like, did she text all of us? Or like, what do you, hey, what do you want from Costco? We're shopping now. I'm like, that was me. Was that you? Because like, Lauren was at Costco. And yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, I'm good. I, pre- I appreciate it. But like, and the car was still packed to the brim. And yeah. we had to leave half of it at my house. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Because they showed up to the we, house. We didn't forget any of the chips. Yeah. <laughs> they Which showed we the house. definitely wanted. Yeah. Well, well, the hatch chili popcorn is delicious. It no, doesn't you. smell good. It doesn't no, smell good. It smells you. terrible. <laughs> Compared to you, Tom, everything smells good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 it right. smelled better than this room right now, but... Yeah, <laughs> uh, But yeah, they get, to, they get to my house to pick me up, and I open the trunk to put like my backpack in, <laughs> and the entire <laughs> cargo area of the Jeep is it's full of bad. snacks. <laughs> and, like, so yeah, you missed out on that one, too. <laughs> a 24-pack of Coke, 24-pack of body armor. I'm like, you know it we're only driving... Cokes. 
Calm we had down. To, we had to take stuff out of the boxes just to make it <laughs> yeah. fit better. The best part was Carrie then came out with, yeah, with more snack bag yeah, that she yeah. packed for you. <laughs> no, I, I think the fun part was opening all the boxes and stashing the snacks in various places. <laughs> like the car. applesauce is in like its Like there's own. applesauce. We just found all the trail mix in yep. your backpack. Like it's only stupid if it works. There. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm... Uh, yeah, I opened my bag this morning. I picked it up and I was like, "Why? What is in my bag already?" And opened it up and there's 24 packages of trail mix. <laughs> that'll, that'll come <laughs> handy for the drive home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah then picked up Tim. And, yeah. So uh, when you got to my house, I I felt bad because I had like four bags. Got all the podcasting stuff, my two bags, and then something else. And I'm like, "Oh, this isn't gonna fit." We made it work. <laughs> we did. Yeah, we did. We made it work. And we then did. yeah, then Flagstaff, uh, Trevor did his Tetris, and he. F- Fucked it all up. Oh yeah, <laughs> nothing fit first in there. First of all, first of all, we were doing that at seven o'clock in the morning after having really a full night sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know how we made it there. Of all of Trevor's dad skills, packing a car doesn't seem to be one that he's learned. Uh, yeah, no, packing a car, I'm excellent at. Just not <laughs> oh really? Oh really? Because this morning would I would beg to differ. The the smell of flag stuff. You can ask. Off. You can ask. It was my the altitude. Wife. No, it wasn't that. It was the fact was the that altitude. we had stayed in the car for 27 yeah. hours straight. We'll just, yeah. we'll just blame it on the altitude. That's no, fine. we'll blame it on the fact that we were in the car for 27 uh, hours straight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, we got on the road. I took the first. I think it was almost eight hours I drove yeah, you, from 4 to, no, six, four to 11. You did like six. Yeah, it was like, okay, six. It was a good run. It was a good run. <laughs> it's a nice try. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was more like I, 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 What was it, Tennessee? Roughly? Yeah, I think we were uh, in Tennessee. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I... Um, I, I tapped out. I think it was like eleven o'clock. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, I think we we got to about Knoxville. Yeah, where, where, where you swap. And then PJ took road. over for yeah. two gas stops, and it immediately started raining. And yeah. we went to the yeah, most PJ got murderous. shafted. Yeah, PJ. I was tired, and then it started raining, and I was like, Yeah, PJ got <laughs> shafted. <laughs> and then we all fell asleep. Like, I tried. I tried really hard to stay awake for you, and it it didn't. For happen. my eight hours, we were partying. We were having fun, yeah. like telling. Shooting the shit. Yeah. As soon as PJ got on, I felt bad because we all fell asleep yeah. and it started raining. You and then we went to the murder gas station. Yeah, with the two kitties. <laughs> the two kitties. With the two kitties. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> no human should be that good at that. It's his fetish. Oh, God. Uh. It's lucky there's no squirrels around. <laughs> <laughs> and then I. <laughs> and then I peed facing the highway and scared the cats away. Yeah. <laughs> Peeing in the direction of the yeah. fucking traffic. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing like gas a 24 hour, yeah, oh a 24 hour truck stop that's closed. <clears throat> yeah, like, that, that makes tracks. sense. And then you threw the cats a glizzy stick. I did. I threw them a meat stick. I don't think they ate it though, because one of them looked at it and went. <laughs> they this isn't even real meat. They didn't smell good. No, <laughs> they do not smell good. Meat breath. Ugh. Yeah, we had some. But but that did lead to finding Jimbo's. Jimbo's yeah. Oh, yes. it did, yeah. Uh, I don't even Gore? It was Gore, yeah, it was, yeah, Oklahoma. 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 Uh, that yeah. was the best Did part. we not and stop anywhere in our, our can sauce? Oh, we stopped one place. No, 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 we stopped the at Juggalo the gas station. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, yes, that was the Juggalo. The Juggalo, the Juggalo, the Juggalo gas station, yes. <laughs> dude, uh, and granted, it was technically Halloween. <laughs> technically. <laughs> this dude was definitely Juggalo. Yeah, and he he moaned while he peed, <laughs> really awkwardly. I'm next so to me glad only world. one of us experienced. Oh no, I no, experienced no, it. No, no, because no, they were both in there. Tim, Tim was in the stall shitting. Oh my! God. And I'm like, I feel I'm like like this guy literally followed me through the store to the bathroom because he was out front when we pulled up. Because when I first I was walked like, in, he had walked out. Yeah, I was like, this he is saw gonna, you went. Uh, yeah, uh. I was like, this is gonna get weird. Good thing Tim's in here taking a dump. I got some like hidden backup. <laughs> And then, like, oh, I heard him from from my blown yeah. out, blown out the stall. Yeah. I heard this guy, oh, oh, oh. and he broke he broke man rule number one, which is you don't take the urinal next to another guy when it's open. Yeah, that's what made it extra creepy, <laughs> dude. And he was he like, must be a CrossFitter. <laughs> no, he's a Juggalo. No. <laughs> CrossFit Juggalo. If you don't know what Juggalos are, don't go- <laughs> Google it. Yeah, I see P- Wikipedia. Look at yeah. Insane clown posse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was—he was like he had like party too because his his mouth makeup was coming oh, yeah, off. Yeah, and he was all jacked like he was disheveled, wearing sweatpants. And, and it was and like one thirty in the morning. Oh like, yeah, this is not like four in the afternoon. No, this it is was like one a.m. late in Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, it's the or, worst. or as as PJ called it, Ar- Arkansas. Arkansas. I liked Arkansas. 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 Yeah, I've decided that that's the um, worst state in the union, and so Maryland, yeah. is, Maryland is a close second. <laughs> Wow. It's that's, on Maryland. Wow. That's for, you, that's for you, the Baltimore Do boys. We, I mean, you. 
you you see the the ge- geography of where people listen. Do we have listeners in Arkansas? I hope not. <laughs> if we do, we don't want you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, I'm yeah. sure there's wonderful places in Arkansas. I would, yeah, just not 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 along I-40. Yes. Or in the state. If there is wonderful places to four wheel, please let us know. Yeah. Yes, we won't that come actually, back. I feel like they probably have good four wheeling. Oh yeah. Because it's. Empty. Yeah, there's nothing else there. There's not houses. Um, All yeah, they do is make guns and have jungle I mean, at, th- at this point in my life, I've hit like 35 of the states. <laughs> this week, we'd like to thank our partner over at Rock Tricks Wheels. Rock Tricks has been independently manufacturing parts and accessories for the off-road industry for well over 10 years. Rock Tricks offers the best high-quality, high-strength aluminum wheels for all your off-road needs. You can use Dirt Drive 5... That's Dirt Drive, the number five, for 5% off your entire order on the website. You can find their website linked in today's show notes. Thank you, Rock Tricks, for supporting today's show, and thanks to all of our listeners for supporting companies that support us. We checked a couple extra off. Yeah, I checked a bunch off on this trip. Yeah. Um, yeah. Arkansas was rough. Arkansas is definitely a pass through state. Which is crazy because the initial plan was to stop in Little Rock for breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Glad that didn't work out. out. Yeah. Because we, because we you were, completely well, neglected well, we the were time close. zone yeah, changes. Yeah, my, my scheduling was a, a, a few hours off based on <laughs> time zone. not adjusting time zones. Yeah. So the whole idea was like, oh, if we leave at 4 p.m., 14 mm-hmm. hours, like that's breakfast. Yep. But when we got there, it was, we were one. I, I, driving wise, we were yeah. ahead of schedule because we got to our Little Rock in like twelve. Yeah, yeah. And with the time change, it was really. Yeah, I think we it, net, was, it was net eleven hours. Yeah, because I think we pulled into Jimbo's at what like six thirty seven. Yeah. It was o'clock. like it was just after seven. Yeah, and so, that was that was and pretty I think, good. Pretty good ways into Oklahoma. Yeah, we, yeah, we were good. Like yeah, because I think miles in at that point. Yeah, because we hit what Little Rock at midnight. Uh, no. I think it was like three, three thirty four. Because mm. I, I think I took over around Little Rock for PJ. Yeah, uh, you did. Uh, and then got because that was that's where we saw the car trains. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Oh, we can't miss the car trains. Car the train? the Ford Escape that was pulling the the fifteen hundred. Oh, that was totally just pulling together, and they were all wrecked. It's just yeah. the and one. We, in and front we learned was, something. It's that it's only legal in Tennessee, and Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's where was it? Oklahoma, Arkansas. All right. Sorry. Car trains. Yeah. Car trains are like or two trailers. You can you can you can link two cars to the back of your it's, car. It's no, only legal in those two states. It's, yeah. There's a few more states in the country, but those two states in they, particular, it was sketchy as hell. They, they, they seemed to be there very was popular. wrecked vehicles towing other I mean, wrecked yeah. vehicles. I wonder if that's like a strictly after dark thing to travel. Oh, that's good. Oh, I, that we didn't think point. of that too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder. I wonder if, I wonder if there's really any of those traveling during the day. Uh, I would. Uh, I would I assume. Tell, I would assume. I can tell you, we're not going to find out. My, we have zero yeah. reason to ever drive through Arkansas again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my assumption of Arkansas is always legal. <laughs> Everything's legal. Go, go Razorbacks. Yeah. <laughs> what was the other fun fact? Did we look up any other fun facts? No, that was Arkansas? the thing. There were no fun yeah. facts about Arkansas. Because all depressing. Because we got to Oklahoma and then learned all the fun that's, facts that's, about Oklahoma. That's when we started looking up like all the crazy things that are oh, still the, the illegal. Laws. Yeah. And yeah. And all that oh, so stuff. we found all the oh, depressing that's also, facts. That's also when we found facts. out that Tennessee, or not Tennessee, that Florida was the flattest state. Yes, yes. Florida's the flattest state. With yeah. an elevation change of like 345 feet. feet. 345 yeah. feet of Congrats, the whole Florida. state. Yeah. yeah. Oklahoma Congrats has and like over 2,000 man made lakes, we yep. learned. Yeah. There was a lot. We saw most of them, I think. And Texas has an elevation of 8,000 feet. Yeah. yeah. Which is nuts. Yeah. Um, and we learned a lot of interesting facts. Yeah, we, we were going to stop. Um, in Arkansas at the Cracker Barrel, yeah. and I'm like Tom yeah, we from, from my from, the border. from from my <laughs> newfound hate of this state. Yeah. We need to get that <laughs> hell out of it. Please God, no! And it worked out well because well, we were just driving along, yeah. and and I'm like, oh, that like just I just Googled breakfast. Well, I, well, I started getting hangry because oh, you yeah. were like, there's gonna be another Cracker Barrel. And there wasn't. Then we found it was Oklahoma, <laughs> and there's still nothing. And there, there was nothing for Lies. 50 miles. Lies and we, we learned a we learned a good tip at Jimbo's too. On how to make pancakes. Oh yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we got to try that when we go home. Because yeah, shout out to shout out to Jimbo's, her. Yeah, and Jimbo's one. The food was fantastic, Excellent. but we were talking about pancakes, and Tim was talking about I, my pancakes that I ate at breakfast were delicious. Yeah. delicious. Yeah, and Tim was talking about how he likes to make pancakes from, from scratch. scratch at home, 
And I asked him why he doesn't just use the BizQuick stuff for quick, easy pancakes. Because we, we ran out and I didn't. We, yep. we just had flour. Yep. And then she goes, oh, I'll make it even easier. You can make pancakes with two ingredients, self-rising flour and coffee creamer. Yeah. Wild. And, and you can flavor the pancake. Yeah. You can put whatever coffee creamer you want in there. So easy peasy hazelnut pancakes. Hell yeah. Oh, give me some of those like. Caramel macchiato, oh pancakes! Yeah, there you go. Mm, that's like, a good uh, pancake. salted caramel. I, or uh, uh, isn't there like a Hershey's like? Oh, oh yeah, yeah the Hershey's one. chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Did you just say Hershey's three cheese? <laughs> no, I said Reese's. Oh, <laughs> Hershey's Reese's. Reese's three Hershey's cheese. three cheese. What the hell? <laughs> That's what happens to your creamer if you get to put it back in the fridge. Yeah, oh God! <laughs> you get the coffee uh, cheese it, curdles. You get that oh, cheese. You get it still that, tastes like cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that three cheese coffee creamer. Uh, um, but yeah, Oklahoma was also a pretty boring drive. But yeah, but just sc- boring. Like, scenic. Scenic enough, yeah. But also rolling hills, long. yes. Long. Yeah. yeah, those are the rolling hills, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Oklahoma, which was nice. Uh, Texas was pretty miserable until we got to Cadillac Ranch. Yeah, yeah. Once we hit Amarillo, I mean, I mean, it's Texas. Texas. Yeah, it's especially Cal- especially the top little panhandle yeah, yeah. of Texas, the little Texas hat, <laughs> the little top hat. Yeah. Uh, um, Cadillac Ranch was cool. Yeah. I wouldn't make a drive for it just to go see it itself. Yeah. No. But, but on the route of I honestly 66, thought there were more cars in the ground. Yeah. Like Yeah. I somehow and this could be one of those Mandela effects. I have very distinct memories of seeing pictures of Cadillac Ranch where there's like at least two rows of cars. So I I posted that mm, thing to parked um, in the ground. That that video to YouTube that I did and uh one of the guys was like, this is the, the picture on my American textbook. I'm like, yeah, it's super underwhelming. <laughs> like, it's advertised as like, like oh. for, his, for his English. So for oh, he was okay. learning uh, ESL, uh, and it was a picture on the front of his ESL book. Interesting. And like Cadillac Russia Ranch. was Cadillac Ranch. And I'm like, interesting. that's an interesting yeah, picture. They always uh, choose the weirdest photos for some of that shit. That is true. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's cool in the sense that like, I think partly where it is. More so than what it is. Yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, it's cool old Cadillacs. We saw, we yeah. were looking at one and being the car guys, we were like, yeah. that's oh, that chopped. Was chopped. Yeah, that was chopped, chopped and, was and then buried. Well, then yeah. you, you also see the 30 years of paint. Yeah. Oh, at least that is 30 years. Just like, as PJ put it, as we were standing there, they're little, like little stalagmites. Like, yeah. it just. Hate to break it to you, I'm pretty sure that was buried in like the 70s. Yeah. Okay. 60 years. Have yeah, they been spray, spray painting for that I'm long? I'm pretty sure they've been there a yeah. long time. Yeah. Okay. Well, because they were 50s cars. Right. So. But I, I don't think there's like an official like start. But they were th- like eight. you could you could see from where the heat was like melting the paint back off the oh, car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The heat of the sun oh, was yeah. like. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. sure in July. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then PJ put his hand in paint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you told me because I was climbing the side of yeah, the car to get like, that watch, picture. Yeah. And you're like, hey, watch out. There's paint up there. And Peach is like, right in, the, right in the smiley face. <laughs> nope, is it gone? Gone, gone now? It's gone, gone now. Damn, uh, white finger. But we bailed out of there pretty quick. Other than the sign that says, please do not spray paint. Yeah, I thought face. that was fine. Oh, it was like, yeah, please do not face anything. the property. And literally right next to the sign is the, what looked like a food truck selling spray paint. Spray, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and gift, much. gift stuff. Yeah. And his uh, brand new Duramax. But yeah, that, so that was like our first real stop. Yes. Like, we drove basically nonstop from northern Virginia straight to Amarillo, Texas. Yep. But then we only stopped for 30 minutes to go yeah. jump on the cars. Well, yeah, but then, with, like, we went from Cadillac Ranch three miles, not even three miles, we all a got mile naked. and a half to the rest stop where we yeah. really put on shorts. In the we, parking lot? In the parking lot, because we, we were all wearing sweatpants and <laughs> hoodies, <laughs> and it was now 80 degrees yeah, we, in Texas. We went from leaving at 430, and it was... 50 degrees, degrees outside yeah. yeah it's pretty wild to Amarillo, um, texas where it was yeah. 70, 78 79 and, and we proceeded to net another bonus hour yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we were another hour ahead of schedule it's not yeah. a bonus hour it's just an unplanned hour because <laughs> you're bad at planning bonus things. hour bonus hour and uh yeah and that's when i think at that point we we're like cool this is great we can take our time through new mexico which we couldn't because there was nowhere well, to stop in new yeah. mexico yeah. and and then made the basically the the goal of hit flagstaff and find a cheap hotel yeah so but we hit we hit new mexico with the plans of doing all this stuff on 66 oh yeah because every is supposed to have all the cool every town we stopped stuff. in was dead we literally, stopped in the town of cars dead. which is uh i don't to, know how to say to it right carry. to come carry um 
uh, Radiator Springs. Yeah. And they're like, oh, there's so much stuff to do. There's so much stuff to yeah, look at. It was literally We weeks. drove through town and there was totally nothing. Totally. Yeah. There was like meth heads. It was, it was very depressing. <laughs> yeah. It was so depressing. I don't think, did any of us remember to take pictures of it? No, I, I got I one, no. picture one picture as we were coming in town because they had the cones up. I'm like, oh, it looks like Lightning McQueen needs to come through here because he had the paving machine on the yeah, back from yeah, when yeah. he first came to town. Mm. Disney knowledge. Yeah, it didn't work out for him, though. No. no. Oh, it did work out for him in the end. Well. Because he met the Hudson Hornet. Not in real life. And. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that uh, was. It was very depressing going wait, through Wait, there's a real places. life Lightning McQueen? Yep. Like the car? Yes, his name yeah. is Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh, here oh. we go. Because <laughs> we were going to stop there for Mine. food. Stop there for food and to hang out for a little bit and like just like enjoy the little town. Yeah, I think Nothing. our initial plan was to like get out and it was yeah, gonna we hopefully park look act at least somewhat like wander. Yeah, 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 I was I was honestly hoping it would look somewhat like Radiator Springs and be like, and because there were a cool like there were some older buildings where you yeah. could tell like they had old school neon signs and all this crap, but they were just shut down. You know, yeah, what, what we're gonna have to we're just gonna have to keep driving to L.A. and just go to Disneyland <laughs> and just go to the car, Cars Land in Disneyland. <laughs> well, I can't do that because I gotta fly home. Oh, that oh, sucks for that you. Sucks for you. Maybe maybe you shouldn't get married. No, I future should, Tim Duck. duck. <laughs> <laughs> I should still get married. Actually, future all of us Duck. duck. <laughs> yeah, because probably because by the time this comes out, we'll be like at rehearsal dinner. Well, you'll be your wedding. Say that. <laughs> you'll be my grooms. You are my groomsman. Yeah. Remember that one time I told you not to do this on the <laughs> podcast uh, <laughs> that just came out. Of yeah. So, so then, like, from there, we were like, all right, well, this place is like an abandoned video game level, so let's just. <laughs> Move on to the next one, thinking, "Yeah, this will be better." Did that hurt your soul as much as it hurt mine? An abandoned video game level. I, I knew like where the, he was going. I just tuned it out. It's like the game from where not, the kids play. It wasn't. It, you it, did make a comment I'm just, about I was thinking uh, video of the, game. It's like a Call of Duty level where it's like you know nuclear fallout in the places. Uh, no, that's just fallout. You know, I don't play video games. <laughs> it's like it's like the zombie level in Call we're, of Duty. We're equally nerds at something. <laughs> yes. We all have our own things. Yes. Yeah. Um, Man facts. Man facts. Um, but then we kept carrying on to like I think Santa Rosa was the next Santa time. Rosa was the next uh, town big enough. Yes. Yeah. Where Santa Rosa. we were met with a slightly less depressing level of abandonment. Yes. So we uh, pa- we passed a Mexican restaurant going to another me- Mexican restaurant that, that was supposed to be higher rated. Reviews, also yeah. the the southwestern part of this country. Can you please get your act together when Google says a place is open and oh, you drive yeah. there? And it's closed three times. Yeah, that may be Google though. Maybe it's just Mexican food. That's true. It was. It, it was, was two. It del was tacos. two different Del Tacos <laughs> and a, and a place called Chico's. Um, so. So, so Chico's was closed. So we went to the one we passed when we pulled into which, town, which at the time seemed <laughs> like the Chico's? only place. The, the, the yellow one. Yellow one that we turned around at. Where we we pulled in and it literally was just like this place doesn't look open. And it's like oh. no, Google says it's open. It was like right Across next to a firehouse. The yeah. sign that says, it says "Don't San, meth San, no, with Santa Rosa welding." Oh. Don't <laughs> meth with Santa Rosa. That's right. <laughs> that, that I know we have a picture of. Yes, that we do, that we do have a, a picture, picture of. of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Keep it classy, Santa Rosa. And went back to what seemed to be the only open restaurant in town. Only to be met by the most wonderful. She was so polite, though. She was so she was so polite it's about it, which down. is what was so like mind blowing. Yeah, it was like literally. Oh, are you guys passing through? Are you from out of like? Are you local? Oh yeah, we're not. We're passing through. Food's terrible. What? We thought uh, she was just being a good Samaritan. Changed and uh, everything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, like good old get yeah. Out. Because yeah. you were because you were had you gone were, you into were the shopping. gift shop. Yeah. No, I, but yeah, I'm, she. I'm a little de- like depressed that like I just witness. Just imagine like a sweet little old grandma. Oh yeah, I walked. She, she was, was like walking up oh, and going. Like, uh, she's like, oh sweet, oh my god, you look so thin. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you piss grandma off and she just whacks you with her rings and goes, get the fuck out of my house. That confirms that she said she hates locals. She does. Oh well, yeah, yeah. So so now we we're, thought she was just now we're standing there like oh, tone oh change. yeah. We we legit thought she was leaving the restaurant. We thought she was trying yeah, to save us so we, from a yeah, bad. Meal. So we were like, oh shit, like all right, like let's get out of here. Like at that point, we're de- now depressed because it's the second abandoned town. Yeah. yeah. Like all right, let's just let's just go hit Dairy Queen, get some chicken tendies, and get back on the highway. So and we, we had the most interesting conversation. So we go over to we go over to Dairy Queen and ask wild. the. 
actually very nice people at yeah, Dairy Queen. Yes. Local. She's a local. She's and a we're very... like, hey, does that place have good food? She's like, yeah, it's pretty good. She's we're like, like, I just went we there, there yesterday yeah, for yeah, lunch. Yeah, yeah. We, were like, we were just told it's got horrible food. She goes, was it an older lady? Yeah. She goes, they don't like locals eating at their restaurant. Specifically or they her. Don't like, they don't like tourists eating at yes. their restaurant. And yeah. we were like, what? What? Like, and, how does that work on a town that's dead? Yeah. And, like, our minds were so blown. I think we all mindlessly ordered chicken tendies and just, like, <laughs> sat there like, what is happening Well, the, right the girl now? that helped us was so nice. She, she was, was so sweet. She was like, oh, yeah, like, she can just be that way. Like, it's, not, it's just old crazy grandma. Yeah. Well, but it wasn't just that, though. She she told us a couple other stories. Yeah, she's yeah. had people in like, the Dairy Queen saying the same in thing. In the same situation yeah. as us, like... I guess I'll go to Dairy Queen because the place across the street, so, I was told so, the food was terrible. We, we were so dumbfounded that our first response was to leave five-star reviews because it was such an amazing <laughs> experience. <laughs> Riveting. Because it was. Riveting. When was the last time you got kicked out of a restaurant for wanting to go buy something there? Well, yeah. I'd like, like to I'd like to give you my money. No, leave. <laughs> no, you, I don't like your face. Get out. <laughs> yeah, you, you. I refuse your money because I don't like you. <laughs> Future money. I mean, it was just so... It, it, <laughs> the whole experience was just so wild. It was yeah. awesome. Just of New Mexico, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's the wildest part. Yeah. We literally drove all the way across this country. And, like, like frankly, walking into Jimbo's in Oklahoma. Oh, my God. They were so I thought nice. for sure oh. we were going to get, like, if there oh, was we, a place we were going to get kicked out we of. We were four dudes in yeah. a CUV. If there was yeah. one place where we. We were the only thing that wasn't a pickup truck in that parking lot. Yeah. We, and we were also the only thing newer than 2015 in yeah. that parking lot. We were also no, the there was a only. One. We were the only ones under the age of fifty. Yeah, uh, yeah. In that entire probably, establishment, you could probably bump that closer to like we're, sixty. So nah, because the, the, yeah, we're the only people that yeah, were not the workers. Yeah, customer wise, customer yes, yeah, customer wise, yeah. sixty five. They they haven't had someone wearing graphic tees. Nonetheless, four people wearing graphic yeah. tees in that restaurant. <laughs> Probably ever. Yeah. Uh, we all rolled in wearing graphic tees the and same, hoodies. The same graphic tees. I think we were Snap all wearing backs. our Gurner's hoodies. Yeah. And, I didn't, and, and vans. I, to, the <gasps> contrast was just oh, palpable. No. And to be fair, I guarantee you the, the first lady Their that... Their boots have laces. The, the first lady that walked up to us, I can almost guarantee you was her initial thought was, oh, God, loud tourist boys. Like, yeah. let's just get this over with. And she walks up. Oh, good morning. How are you guys? And we're all so tired. Oh, we're good. Thanks. How are coffee. you? Doing? Coffee. Coffee. We need I think coffee. Immediately, she was like, oh, You boys, do you need some coffee? Yeah, coffee would be great. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and then Thank all of us at the same time, the first sip of coffee mm. hits the lips, and she comes back to take our order. We're all like, Good we'll morning. We'll have the country fried steak, please. <laughs> yeah. Three of us ordered the same thing, and Tom got pancakes. I wanted pancakes. Was and that's the, where we learned the, the country man or the, the hungry, hungry man. man. The hungry he man. got the country that's, man. I, that's got the pancakes. Cu- I got the country. That's breakfast. every loaded breakfast in a good, yeah, country, yeah, country but, store, in a country diner. Like, yeah, but, like, not, not even Percival Diner has that. Yeah, because the, the you know, size you know of did, that you know steak does have a hungry man breakfast and a good country breakfast. Jimbo's in Gore, Oklahoma, and Cracker Barrel. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> well, don't you dare compare Jimbo's to Cracker I'm not. I'm Denny's just saying. That's a pretty good one, too. <laughs> What's up, Denny's? Denny's? I want to go to Denny's. Well, every time we go past Denny's, let's go to Denny's. Why let's does go this Denny's. state smell like Denny's? <laughs> that was Flagstaff. That was Flagstaff. <laughs> Great segue, PJ. Under our Welcome. Neck. Oh, well, we can't We can't forget having to do a little bit of hypermiling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That so, was before Flagstaff. Which, <laughs> we, we haven't confirmed yet, but my theory is still that that gas station was on a... On a Native American reservation. Mm. Oh yeah, because oh, yeah. it makes no sense why their gas would have been a dollar fifty went, more. So yeah, that was, that, that was wild. That was when we first came into Arizona, though, right? That uh, I was like halfway into Arizona. Yeah, yeah. But, so yeah, but we hit the first one, and it was four, no. So the last I had taken over. I had taken over driving at one point in and like, like Oklahoma. Yeah, and I uh, it was. I Texas. think it was about the Arizona. It was uh, no, it was no, about the Arizona border. I want to say okay. Yeah. It all blends together. Did, but did we fill up there? We probably we, did. W- I think I'd taken over at a gas stop, and I was watching watching the range, and, like, I see we got 90 miles, and I'm looking at GPS. I'm like, oh, cool, there's a gas station, you know, 50 miles from here. This is perfect. Uh, and I, so we just started skipping all the – I started skipping all the gas stations. You guys were starting to fall asleep. It was getting dark. And I'm like, all Sun's right. Sun's going down, big the shell, man. The shell's here. <laughs> we got, we got like, 42 miles. Sun's getting yeah. low. Sun's getting and, low. Uh, we pull into this shell station in the middle of nowhere, Arizona, yep. and gas is like four, no, 50s. five. It was 505 for regular. Yeah. And we, Ungodly. Yeah. That was like 
that was damn near two dollars more yeah. than what we spent we, at the last. We've been paying yeah. three fifteen, three thirty, three yeah. fifty. Like I don't think we paid above three fifty until we hit Arizona. Nope. Yeah. Yep. That, and like the first I, gas station was we five oh five. We were so yeah. alone. We were like, this is not okay. And it was, like we were like, all right, it, we got thirty two miles to the next gas station. I'm like, uh, we got forty one miles of range. Fuck it, we're going for it. <laughs> And <laughs> gave me so much anxiety because I fill up a hundred miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, yeah. Right. Tim over here, Mister uh, Quarter mo- Quarter Tanker, was uh, was was freaking Thank out. Thank you, Downtown Grand Water. Uh, send the check. <laughs> send the check. <laughs> we uh, we made it though. We made it. We rolled. Dude, we rolled. I was freaking out. We, we had to roll. We had to roll deep off the highway. We were Dude. like. Six or seven miles off the highway to find gas under four dollars a gallon, which we found it. It was like yeah. three sixty. Yeah, um, uh, but that was the, that was the last stop we made. And, yeah. But that was th- and it was there that we realized that the first one was definitely on an Indian yeah. reservation. Yeah, why this will never be filmed. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sitting here just. <laughs> just rubbing, I'm itchy. Rubbing your belly. <laughs> I'm itchy. So now it's yeah. belly. I got ants, man. <laughs> We also Anchor Brown. Well, you, you'll have to wait for the next episode for part two of the trip. But we just finished all you can eat sushi, Ugh. and I am stuffed. So yeah, we we uh, realized we were on an Indian reservation, yeah. and we had to get off of one to get good gas. Yeah. Um, well, because because theirs were just right off the highway, so right. it was one of those like. But even we, after we got that gas at three six and got back on the highway, it was true. still four twenty five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The gas in Arizona Look, it, it was. was they were oh, they're plowing people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so but we then, stayed in Flagstaff. Yeah, we made it to Flagstaff. Night. No, so when we got in Flagstaff, <laughs> Where, did we? St- when we got into oh, the town yeah. of Flagstaff, yeah, I'm like, does anybody else smell bacon? <laughs> yeah. And my first response was, it smells like Denny's. <laughs> Why does this town smell like Denny's? <laughs> and then <laughs> that's exactly. What, so, <laughs> and then you perfectly, like two seconds later, we were like, oh, this is where dog food's made. <laughs> Fun fact, if you're wondering, Flagstaff is home to a Purina dog chow factory. Yeah, it is. And, and it smells for some reason, it smells like Denny's. <laughs> according to Tim, he, he was more scared about the fact of, does dog food really smell like Denny's? Or do I just really like the smell of dog food? Or, does, or is Denny's dog food? <laughs> or is Denny's Burr? dog food? Now my... <laughs> oh, and we've lost Tim. <laughs> I'm so glad that it was this PJ is, barking. That's what did it. I'm so glad that this is equally as funny, like a full 24 hours after it happened. Oh, shit. For, oh, for those of you that live, this is not small. Like Dennis. Well, I think we have a new T-shirt idea. What? <laughs> Oh, we'll get into that part later. Uh, no to future God. Tim when editing. Cut out the 18 no. minutes of laughter. <laughs> no. He's got to shoot. Leave it in. Just shorten the 18 <laughs> minutes of laughter. Can't leave it in. Oh, oh, my God. oh man. But then we got the, the flag step. I had booked the hotel on the road. All $52 All worth. All $52 worth of it. And we and roll into this. Decent. <laughs> Honestly, for that was the nicest $52 that a night hotel I've ever been I'll, in. I'll give you that. Um, but we we checked in and I'm like just one dude at the counter he's like oh this is this is normal and then like this three is- dudes walking behind me he's like you got a two bedroom <laughs> he said he said you got a, you got a two two, two bed <laughs> two doubles nonetheless they're not even queens yeah. you got a two and we were so we were so delirious that we just like, like all uh, got in bed uh-huh. oh and then then Trevor and I don't sleep with shirts on and we slept in the same <laughs> oh, bed yeah two bears two bears half a bed two bears half a bed did, yes. did we leave out the um, pit stop that was unsuccessful. Oh, the gas station that... Wait. What? Well, that was before Flagstaff, though. Yeah. Wait. What, which... Wait, it was the had... last stop. No, that was that was coming up to Vegas. That was the last day. That was you... it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The last stop. You last can last tell last... that PJ definitely didn't sleep in the car at yeah. all because he all was just all jumbled up. Well, also, from, like, Amarillo to Vegas is literally the same landscape. Yeah. yeah. It's the same desert, sagebrush randomness but, but yeah then, we we passed out that night in flagstaff oh, yeah. like it was that was good. one of the I best eight so hour good. sleeps i've had in a long time oh yeah, yeah. i didn't move yeah we I slept eight hours the same position eight hours. exactly eight hours and the reason that we actually did stop is because we were since, at, we were since, so Tom, since yeah. tom's time was messed up yeah from his original we so planning we had eight hours to kill <laughs> we, we literally had eight hours to kill 
<laughs> and um, PJ needed sleep. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, was, I was getting murderous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have a picture of it. Yeah, <laughs> it worked. It worked out great though because we we stayed in Flagstaff. Yep. And be, between the time zone changes and driving, like, and us sleeping so well, we were up early and like we were at, we, we were up at six. We made it out to the Grand Canyon and like got to. That was before the Del, the Grand Canyon Canyon was after the Del Taco. Oh, though. that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's that right. That was the Del Taco the, fiasco the worst of twenty twenty two. Breakfast. Hey, but In we history. made friends with that nice Jeep dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 He, 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 he knows open. how to get to the Wendy's. <laughs> we, we ain't open. We ain't open. No. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks, yeah. buddy. So He so, was just I excited that he had French toast so sticks. Thing, Leave him alone. Thing, things in Flagstaff open at 7. Yeah. But they actually according open to Google. between 7 and whenever the fuck they feel like. Because, it, because it wasn't even like a... Oh, they're in there. They're running a right. little behind. Yeah, like the door is locked for the first people there. Yeah, and we go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll go to the one up the road because there was nobody in the building. Yeah, at all. Get to the next one, and it's like, hmm, maybe they're not in yet because once again, no lights, no yeah. nothing, yeah. no commotion. So we decided to go to Wendy's. And right next to Wendy's. But the other, the, the half of this is... came up with a name. Oh Uh-oh. boy, Chi Chower. Cheech and Chong and Boomhauer. Oh, oh, very nice. Ah. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, but, but the yeah, second the second Del Taco was closed, and we went to the Wendy's. But even, which was but, next door, but the Wendy's seemed like it was closed, and we didn't know what to do. Yeah. And our random Cheech Hauer friend literally <laughs> is watching so us. so much better when somebody else is saying it. <laughs> <laughs> is watching us, like, circle the Del Taco, circle the Wendy's. While and, he's eating Wendy's yeah, French well, toast. He's probably watching us like, my fucking need him. Yeah. <laughs> and he finally decided to wave us down. But the part that was weird, he, instead of rolling the window down in his JK, he opened the door. Yeah. <laughs> and like Such waved an us. awkward wa- exchange. Literally waved us down with his French toast it, yeah. And he just kept giving us thumbs up. I'm like, does that mean Wendy's is open? <laughs> but the door is locked. This guy's telling us we- it's open. I have no idea. Uh, let's try the drive through. And lo and behold. They answered. Yeah. There was a lifted ambulance in the drive-thru as well. Uh, that was in the building behind Yeah, that was Wendy's, crazy, but, though. Yeah. But yeah, that was pretty cool. We got a picture of that. We'll put that up. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, and then after that, we, we ate in the Wendy's parking lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. with Boomhauer or Chichauer. Yeah, and then <laughs> took off into the sunrise. Yeah. For the Grand Canyon, yeah, but that, so that, was, that was a that was Cheech a nice drive. Cheech Harrow yes. wasn't like some crazy old man though. PJ's losing it. <laughs> he he had a nice Jeep. <laughs> he did have a nice Jeep. It was a Rubicon. That's why I was bumpers. I was willing to trust it because it was a nice Jeep. <laughs> I found our mascot, <laughs> Cheech Harrow. <Yeah. laughs> Just some old dude in JK <laughs> <laughs> with French yes. toast sticks, gray hair. And a hunting hat. I and hope, a hunting hat. I hope on the super slim chance he's like our <laughs> one Arizona <laughs> listener and he recognized us. Yeah. Hit up his up for any merch. Chi Chow, if you're if you're listening, thanks, you, man. You got you, us breakfast. You know yep. who you are. Yeah. We were the four white dudes out of place in Flagstaff. <laughs> oh my god. Uh but yeah, it was a really nice drive up to the Grand Canyon. Yes, yeah. that was very and, nice. Uh, we determined I'm going to be a terrible road trip father. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! So, so we got kids. food, kid. Yeah. Slide down. Pull into one place. You ask one question, and it's taken as an <laughs> you, insult. You bums were crazy. No, no, so this is it. Even okay, said, fine. We're not stopping <laughs> there. All I said was. What? Oh, is there something here? The GPS is showing our destination is still 13 miles away. Yep. Oh, oh well, if, if this <laughs> isn't was, good enough, we'll just go. Literally was, the bottom half <laughs> of that little sliver in the map. It's the it start. It's and the start then it goes, of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> It's the start of the Grand Canyon. It's not as significant. So Tom had stopped in the parking lot in a parking space. I was taking my seatbelt off and opening the door. Why would Tom just start moving the car? Take it first. You leave your seat. He just starts driving to Tim's like the door. So I'm just like, well, shut it. (laughs) We're not staying. Get the fuck back in. And I don't understand why, because we had slept so well. Is it because we were fresh? We hated each other. Is that why we're having fun now? No. I don't like you guys. <laughs> Resorted to violence. Uh, but we pa- hey, it was enjoyable. We passed then we all of the-, the abandoned merchant stands because yeah. it's off yes. season. Yeah. Uh, and then we, f- we actually then arrived at the top. Legit. No, no, the main we, entrance we, to the, no, no, Grand Canyon National Park. We, we we came in the back door. 
Yes. Giggity. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You thought we'd make it the whole episode <laughs> without me saying "come," at. didn't you? Right. So, 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 so we get up so to the gates. <laughs> yeah, we um, enter the national park. It was. It's part of the. They called it like the Desert View Road or yes. Desert View Trail. Yeah. Um, really beautiful drive in. Um, although, out. although you did make the point of saying that it felt less national parky because they had a paved parking lot instead yes. of like just a gravel lot. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I I, I would I would commercial. I, I agree. Yeah, it was very commercialized, which yeah. once we got to the main area of the park, oh yeah. I understand where it comes from. Yeah. Yeah. And and frankly, it's it's really nice. Like I didn't realize you could rent a cabin in that park. Yeah. Like it is a massive, oh, massive yeah. park. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, RV, RV hookups, like everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, but yeah, you got the couple different outlooks yep. and stopped along the right. We learned way. a fascinating fact that two planes oh, collided yeah. in midair over the Grand was Canyon. It like in Fifty six. Yeah, yeah. It was a cloudy day and two two planes collided. Yeah, yeah. That's Which is rare wild. enough as it is, but then the fact that it happened directly over the Grand Canyon, yeah, yeah. it's just wild. nuts. <laughs> and that's so where I came up with my premise for my joke: is how do you tell you how do you tell people in the future that your parents died? Oh, my parents died at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> It's or, not a good joke. <laughs> we went over this in the car. It's it's not a good joke. I'm going to stop you there. You give it to a good comedian. You, which you are not. No, of course not. <laughs> but got it's some, a very sadistic joke. Got some <laughs> you didn't let me finish it, though. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, no, you see For where, reason, you see yeah, where I'm moving going. Moving on. Uh, but yeah, and ended up getting another cup of coffee. A uh, pretty epic gift shop. Oh, yeah. yeah. If, if I'm not... And that's when we realized it was Halloween, too. Yeah. Yeah, because we kind of forgot what day of the week yeah. it was. And that was Monday morning, officially. Yeah, it's the 31st. Yeah. Um, I say officially. It was, like, actually Monday yeah, morning. It wasn't, like, a... <laughs> no, it was just it a was, concept. It was a general store, and they had everything. Every, it was like a grocery they, store. They had a like, full-blown, like, fresh yeah. deli meat you could get sliced. Like, it's yeah. F- everything. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Um, they also yeah. had, like, all camping stuff. You get, like, yeah. your... Yeah. Your kettles. And well, yeah, they had a whole like backpacking section and everything. Yeah. So for the people who are hiking like, and stuff, yeah, yeah that was you cool. Broke something. You well, not even broke something. something. You could re- you could build a whole yeah set. Yeah, you, you, could, you, you could you could easily have like flown into Flagstaff, yes. rented a car, and then bought all your camping gear. I think that I even saw like a, a rental area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, I, I. But yeah, they had everything from clothing to yeah. like kitchenware. Hanging out at the nuts. Grand Canyon was like, like it felt like such a awesome destination that was unplanned yeah. that I kind of forgot we were still the, traveling on to Las Vegas yeah. and staying trip, a week here. The trip hadn't even started yet at that yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, we, we we are definitely doing some sort of overlanding oh, yeah. trip to yeah. the Grand Canyon. Well, and that, that's when we finished realizing that you're going to be a bad road trip dad, but that you're a good husband because you did that that um, postcard. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I guess it, it should be there by the time this comes out. You're, I you. hope so. Yeah. Yeah, it's bought a postcard and mailed it from the Grand Canyon. Yeah, yeah it was pretty cool. And that's when I found out you could buy a single stamp at the post office, <laughs> but but only <laughs> but only for postcards. No, no, no. no. She said no. You can mail no. Things. You can literally take a letter. To, as long as it is, I never knew you could buy a single. As stamp. long as it's a standard letter, you can walk up to yeah. the post office and go, "Can you stamp this for me?" They will put a forever stamp on there. You pay your you forty-seven know, cents. Yeah. Or 46. And, and you yeah. call it a day. Yeah. That was cool. Tell me you've never been on a road trip yeah. before. No. That's not a road trip thing. That's just... That, and he's a county government employee. That's, that's the that's the difference. <laughs> I'm a millennial too. That's, I would say that's the. Cut- We're all millennials. No, we still know how to no, use no. stamps. But that's the cutoff in the millennial generation, right? We are the we are elder millennials. Therefore, we understand things like rotary phones, no internet. How the post office works. We're old having a Google. home phone. Having a home yeah, phone. I had a home phone. But then there's like that. We're older than there, Google. There's that line that runs right past us. Ninety two ish dial up. I, I, I usually say ninety four. What are you? Ninety three. Four. You're ninety four. Yeah. See. Yeah. Ninety four. Yeah. Ninety four and younger are are the true millennials. Yeah. Because they didn't like. By the time they were fourteen, fifteen. The post office was obsolete. They all had, like we had smartphones, mm-hmm. right? Like, like we didn't have smartphones for our first cell phones. Nope, not at all. Nextel, baby. Yeah, the Motorola Razor. It's my yep. first. 
That was my second phone. Uh, anyway, I uh, we left the Grand, Grand Canyon, Canyon and started and then, to look for gas again. Yes, and this is where we found another gas station at five fifteen. Yeah, but that I don't think that was reservation. I think that, that was no, tor- that was national park. That was tourism. that was tourist trap. Oh, that was yeah, right outside 100%. the gate. Yeah, but we did notice that up until we found the one station that was like four sixty or something. Yeah. yeah, getting back on forty. There was four other gas stations on the way that were all yeah. above up. five yeah. which was nuts and that's when we realized that just the entire we had just reached that part of the country yeah. where yeah, yeah. gas is just 450 well above. we were also out in the middle of nowhere we True. like like arizona definitely gets bonus points for scenery like oh yeah okay yeah. like, that was just wonderful driving mm-hmm. yeah uh, but but your gas prices de- yeah, suck. A couple demerits on the gas And you price. smell like Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Denny's? What's up, Denny's? Come at us, Denny's. Dog uh, food. Um, Send the checks. And then, <laughs> Are you dog food? That was Send the che- <laughs> we didn't eat at your restaurants once on this entire trip. No, Sponsor the podcast. I'm going to Denny's tomorrow. And no, we're not. That's, that's when we got to PJ's favorite rest stop, where he was so annoyed slash scared. Oh, that God. He went in to pee and came out because he was told he wasn't allowed to pee because he hadn't bought anything. And we yep. get in the car to ask him where he wants to go pee. And he goes, it <laughs> crawled back up. I can't yeah, go now. I just drive the last hour to Vegas. <laughs> I, I was made so uncomfortable. I didn't have to. That place was super sketchy. That was that was like the most that American was, that, place. That was gas. That was it that was, was gas, gas. A food. A, a shooting a gun range. Store. A gun store. Uh, that there was, was a, an ATV I, course. I, a go kart I'm not gonna track. lie though. I was tempted to get. If you're if you're voting for Trump in twenty four, uh, you'd love oh, yeah. that place. It's, it's a a coffee mug, but on the like, on the outside, it was literally just a pair of tits. <laughs> I, love, I love tits and I was like I'm gonna get that one for the boys <laughs> and it didn't happen it didn't no. happen uh, I yeah, got no, uncomfortable by sc- the games they were playing behind the counter <laughs> then we, we we drove basically sort of over past the Hoover Dam and uh, yeah made our way well and that was super pretty too so when we oh yeah that whole came through Lake that, National yeah, Forest that, or whatever that whole, that whole area is yeah all that red rock stuff is always awesome to drive <laughs> yeah, through yeah uh, but yeah, and uh, and then somehow our, we made it into is Nevada. That, is that our fir- is is Adams our first stop? First stop, yeah. SEMA or our last stop of the road trip? Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, co- a little column A, a little yeah. column B. Uh, but yeah, that's part because last stop of the road trip was the hotel where nobody knew what to do with the car. <laughs> Not even the valet guy <laughs> knew what to do with the car. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. You know what you're doing? Nope. 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 <laughs> you guys are blocking my lane. Which lane would you like me to block? <laughs> I need to unload the car. <laughs> yeah, I'm just parking over there. He only, right. he only came out like that because one of the guys, when I was walking in to try and find a luggage cart. He was cart, just being yelled at. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, know. He, he's just, yeah. That's I, I wasn't going to argue with him. I, was just like, I saw him coming back out of the casino, and the dude was still bitching yeah. at him. And he just goes, sir, do you see anyone else working out here? <laughs> It's uh, like, yes. I got you. I got you. <laughs> but yeah, coming down into Las Vegas, Trevor's phone stopped working with the uh, oh yeah oh, the Apple CarPlay. So yeah. I plugged in, and we were like, but it was um, weird because PJ's wasn't being read either. Like yeah. both of those ports yeah. on the front. I, just, I think that poor little Cherokee was like, I I'm, I'm done. Done. <laughs> done. Oh, dude, just park me stroke. for at least an hour. Well, and I, Sorry, Cheryl. I knew, I knew something was <laughs> yeah, wrong. PJ named it Cheryl. I knew something was wrong because the whole time we were driving through the Hoover Dam area. It kept popping up that it wanted to try other phones, and I just kept dismissing it. Well, I think the other part that really hurt us in that was we realized there were more than one USB, and we were all charging our phones at <laughs> well, the same time. But yeah, it was and, and all the USBs connected. connected to the Apple CarPlay, yeah. and it's just like, what is going on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll remember that for the drive home to use the uh, inverter outlet yeah. for yeah. secondary charging. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because at, at that point we were all were God on damn low, it, Cheryl. Yeah, low Cheryl, the bisexual Cherokee. And then somehow uh, <laughs> she's four by four curious. She, could, four by four. she couldn't pick one. <laughs> then getting off the highway, Trevor managed to bang shift the automatic. That's how we knew that point thing was real time. Start stop. It was a neutral drop, but you were still in gear. <laughs> we're, we're sitting at the light. <laughs> <laughs> we had the auto start stop feature on. I had already turned it off. That was the sad part. I think so. You were it stalled and restarted. I, I think he was anticipating the start stop, and then oh. I was like, "Oh, this is when it should start back up." Bunk, bum. <laughs> it was great. 
Um, <laughs> Bang shift in the church. Not great for the transmission. <laughs> that car does I hate not to tell like it to us. You, you guys are going to have a rough drive home. It's oh, fine. no, it's going to be a great drive home. That car is going to kill you. <laughs> it's, it's she sounds fine. like Marge Simpson. That's what I envision. <laughs> I <feel> Hama! Like, <laughs> I feel like there's a voice coming. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Cheryl sounds like she smokes about twelve packs gonna, a day. Gonna, oh, oh, I've been oh, smoking my bowl reds. I was say reds or golds. <laughs> chocolate a pack a day. I remember chocolate. <laughs> I remember jeeps. I always hated them. <laughs> that's a great T-shirt. That's, that's a great T-shirt. Can it be a picture of a renegade? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so then we got to Adams. Yeah, Adam, uh, Adams. In Henderson. No. no, they're in Vegas. No, it's Henderson. It's Henderson. Yep. It's a, it was definitely a Las Vegas address. It's definitely a Henderson it address. Too. It, it's on the out. website. Yeah. It's, Don't pull your phone out. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Well, on, on, on the header of the invoices that we pay often, it says Las Vegas. I don't know. It's like living in Philemont. You still have a personal address. Yeah. It's like living in Adams Drive Shaft, Las Vegas, Nevada. Huh. It's no. in the GPS. You'll, you you can put it in as Henderson, and it takes you to the same That's place. Uh, um, but yeah, that was our first stop, and that yeah. was an awesome stop. That, that was, was an awesome, awesome stop. Yes, shout out to James. Yeah, yeah, James and uh, Stephen. Dan. Yeah, and Dan. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, we uh, uh, they were they were nice enough nice enough to give us a little bit of a tour of the space. Oh, uh, that was a, how, that was a little bit of a tour. We saw yeah, I was say, all all the all the. Many many drive shafts we've sold and installed. Yeah, like, you're you you guys are, have a great product under yeah. your Jeep. Like well, and guys. for for the shop being 15 guys yeah. that service yeah. the, almost the entire off road industry yeah. and like a it's big wild. a big chunk of family. We learned. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, James Adams started it and, yep. and employs cousins, His son-in-law. Like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, that was really if, if you're cool. wondering, awesome. their their zip code is eight nine one two zero, which is Las Vegas, Nevada, or Paradise, Nevada. Oh. Interesting. Look at you. Thanks. Hmm. Thank you, Google. It was probably my Google Maps that your phone was plugged well, in. Yeah, it's because yeah. you are Android, and we we, <laughs> all, we all know how well that works. Yeah, flex uh, on the pores. <laughs> then, if you get green text messages, <laughs> yeah. right oh. right after Adams. We finally got to go get some. Well, not even after Rocky Adams. Day. That that was. I mean, we have to talk about Adams a little more. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we we walked. I mean, we met the whole family. We walked through. We got to watch a drive shaft we, get made. Yeah, watch a drive shaft. That get was made. fun. Yeah, and then we were invited up into to James' if you guys office. Are, if you guys are wondering, they are so good at making drive shafts. They do yep. it all by hand. <laughs> There's no special instrument. Just a little tiny it's hammer. A dude with a hammer. Yeah. Um, and, and a big bushy beard, in-house powder coating, and a dial indicator, and a dial indicator <laughs> on a lathe um, <laughs> with millions of dollars worth of equipment. But it, they just use the hammer. Yeah, they close their eyes and they just feel yeah. in the drive shaft where to tap. Yep, all nice black in- in-house powder, powder coating. coating. Yeah. Yep. Uh, um, can confirm. But then we <laughs> can confirm. <laughs> yeah. Um, then we went up to James's office and Which we were invited awesome. to have a beer with I'm him. So at, jealous at of that noon. office. Yeah. yeah. That was an amazing office, and they've yeah. got their um, their green screen up for where they're going to record yep. videos, yep. Um, and do some new new stuff. Hopefully, they said later this year, or I guess early yeah. next year. Well, they, well, we just, also, they just moved they into just, that building two months ago. Two yeah. months ago, they um, moved. So yeah, they, yeah no, they went from like definitely a total of five thousand square feet to ninety seven hundred, something like that. Yeah, yeah, and that ninety seven hundred isn't huge, and that's why no. I'm so impressed by that facility. Yeah, no, yeah. but like like that shop is definitely shop goals. Yeah, like oh, their yeah. their facility is is. Top notch air conditioning. Specifically for PJ, the dining area. Yes. yes. Oh, yes, yes. It was a break room. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Overlook break room. Yeah, I'll, it's an overlook listen, break room. I will move the couches out and I will get you a plastic lifetime <laughs> picnic table if that's what you prefer. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what? Even better. I'll put the picnic table outside in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get stolen. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll chain it up. Uh, um, but, but yeah, that was, that was yeah. an awesome stop. Wow. Yeah, uh, hanging out with, you know, getting to put names to yeah or faces to names. Yeah, that was a yeah, big one. You know, it's we've we've been using them for a few years now and like getting to meet them in person. And, and well, and you, and you talk you talk so much business too. Like you got to yeah meet him in person, but you also got to meet his part. Like you got to meet him as a right human, That's, other than 
what in person means. Well, I know, but <laughs> but you get to meet him as a human and like have a conversation other than just business. That's the that's faces the, to names. Yeah. Thing. Yep. All right. Wow. <laughs> Maths. Mm-hmm. Maths. It's been listen. It's been a very long four days. Like we're we on day one here. Like we're like. I, I gotta pace myself. What day one here at Monaco Race? <sighs> I, don't, I, I don't know about you guys, but like, like between the like, the adventure, it wasn't even a, a trip. It was, it was so a, much fun. It was an adventure. We could, we could have turned around and gone so home many and I juggalos. Been happy. Yeah, no, I, I but I, I actually said that at one point. I said if we wake up on Tuesday morning and like, the convention center bursts into flames and SEMA's canceled, like, I, I would have been more than like okay to just turn around and go home at that. Yeah. point. and then PJ went. I'd be furious. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's just bullshit. That's just bullshit. I mean, think about the convenience of getting like eight days to drive home, though. That'd be so much fun. Yeah, we would definitely need to open insurance policy on that rental car, though. No, no, we'll be good. We just don't break it. <laughs> and if you break it, we just got to fix it. Yeah. If we break it, you also have to unsticker it. That's easy. Uh, but then we went to uh, Del Taco. Finally, finally, third time's a charm. Um, all all we wanted was just to see what Del Taco offered for breakfast, and we couldn't have it. We saw what they offered, but, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but like yeah, you the said, pictures looked delicious. But like you said, that was just it was the meant, universe yeah. telling us, no, 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 you need to go yeah, there for lunch. I needed, I needed a quesadilla taco. It was delicious. Oh, so good. Um, I'm so sorry, Dad, but mm. hey, and then as, hey, Taco Bell. Step your game up. Yeah, Taco. I'm, I'm. I guess my dad's retired at this point, so he doesn't yeah, care. But, but yeah, Taco Bell, like. uh, Quesarito tacos. They're a thing. Yeah, and they need to be on your menu. And real French fries. None of that nacho fry bullshit. Yeah, the crinkle fries for the win at Del Taco. <laughs> I'm just hating on. Yeah, fuck you, Taco Bell. <laughs> no, we love you, Taco. Bell. Send the check, but also step your game up. Yeah, this is it's called market research. We're doing free market research. Yeah. The least you could do. that could be worth. Millions? Millions? millions some might say we'll, yeah. we'll take in the sponsorship we'll, money we'll take we'll a yeah. small one percent of the million <laughs> yeah. you sold a lot of mexican pizzas taco bell like we know you got it <laughs> uh but yeah it's like del taco is like the southwest no did we go to ford before del taco no we went no, to del we taco ford after first. okay um, you're getting your timeline yeah. mixed up yeah, because yeah. you had a meltdown yeah Oh well, yeah. I guess we do. We do have to discuss, <laughs> discuss that. We do have to discuss the abomination that we saw at Shelby. Yes. What? Well, let's start off with cool cars. Yeah, cool cars. It was really cool. Oh yeah. yeah not, sure. not enough. Not Ma- enough. Massive, massive production. Like yeah. massive shop. Yeah. Like that's. It was wild. My favorite. My favorite thing at Shelby, <clears throat> walking in and smelling the fiberglass resin. Yeah. Like that brought me back to to school. Like, yeah. Like, like being in a body shop again. I was just like, oh yes. That smells like productivity. Yeah. Saw a car there that if it ever gets washed, it's oh, probably going to yeah. end up dead. Yeah. Carol Shelby's Aston Martin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still covered in dirt. Yeah. Which was awesome. I we, we, Could we could we squeeze an actual... How much... Did anybody get the price of the tour? Should we squeeze a tour in while we're here this week? We can if you want to. I mean... I, I wouldn't I mind say, learning the history of some of those I want to say... I think yeah. they probably run like... 30, 45 minutes. I'll have to look it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but they didn't have any plaques up for the history of the cars. Yeah. They had a bunch yeah, of really cool cars. They want you to pay for the tour. Yeah. Um, but no information I, I about think, them. I think it was 15 bucks a person. Yeah. 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 We'll look it up. It, I mean, it can't can't be realistic for that much. <laughs> On this episode, Trevor guesses how much Carol Shelby's um, uh, warehouse costs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make sense. But yeah. So, I, so, so after we spent like 15 minutes perusing the gift shop, checking out the cars, yep. we're walking back to the rental. And out of the shop emerges. PJ a, goes, "Hey, that's the Borla team." No, it's it, it's a Mustang <laughs> Mach E. Yes, that's for, the first thing we notice. It's for a, the, yeah, for no, the, the first thing we notice is said Borla. Yeah, like, so, oh, that could be cool. So what looks like a race car <laughs> nope. rolls out of the shop, and I'm like, "Oh shit! Wait, that's a Mustang Mach E." For those of you who don't know, that's the EV Mustang. That's the electric powered Mustang SUV, which is more of an SUV than it is a sports car. Mm-hmm. And I'm like. That's super weird. Why does Borla, an exhaust company, have a wrapped EV? No sooner than I say that, this thing pulls around behind me and you. Pulls around the parking lot and drives around and we just hear, and we're like, what the hell hell is that? And we were loud. We let that team know that it was the (laughs) worst thing. Like the entire marketing company heard us in the parking lot vomiting. 
Like, yeah, because we were like, what the, there was why first, are what, you giving fake engine noises to electric vehicles? After Jim Connor, too, they saw the hate that Jim Connor got for no. And that's but the only he, hate it got was the, the no engine thing. sounds. I don't care that an elect, uh, that an EV doesn't sound like a V8. It's not supposed to. It's no. a fucking EV. You know, you know what it is most reminiscent of when people who are vegans make their faux pork, and people yeah. always give them crap because yeah. they're like, "If you don't want to eat meat, stop, stop making, making other foods meat. look like meat and taste like meat." Yeah, yeah. like yeah. what's the point? Just if eat you the don't, meat. You just eat the meat. You want to sound like a V8? Get a V8. They still make a V8 Mustang. Yeah. Like, a very good one. And if you wanted a sports car, you shouldn't have bought the Mach E. <laughs> and I'm like, I just should have bought a Rivian. Yeah. I mean, another <laughs> rant for another episode. Yeah. But like one of the seminars we sat in today discussed EVs and and where that is in the future and where it falls yep. within the market. And it's just like knowing that and 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 watching where the EV market is going and then seeing an aftermarket company building fake i mean they, they literally just put a speaker in yeah yep like all that is is a speaker like guys come on yeah like, pretty like, sad like it's it, you you can do better you can do better yeah and after our stop at adams which was awesome the stop there was kind of less than yeah. yeah less than awesome so we're like oh yeah, this that, is that, a great start to the trip so yeah. far and then, and and then we totally went and got some in. medicine for that um <laughs> and had a great time on fremont street yeah. yeah, Fremont Street was awesome. At the impromptu car show, right outside yeah, our yeah. hotel. Yeah. yeah, as we're checking in, there's just like just slam the mini, mini trucks. The mini truck Hall of Fame induction ceremonies going on outside our hotel. Yeah, no, and that's like not a joke. It's actually yeah. the mini truck yeah. Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, um, doing their annual like car show and hangout. Yeah, and met that that guy with the the Nissan, the Nissan hard body. Yeah, yeah, like he's got like six of these like mommy cool Smurf. Sh- shout yeah. out yeah. to Smurfette. Yeah, Smurfette. Nicety. Nicety is what that car's yeah. name was because yeah. it's nice and naughty, yeah. like Smurfette. It was. I mean, it Smurf. had a massive stereo. Yeah. Like, have you oh. ever seen a Nissan hard body with a truck cap on it? Yeah. Like, I mean, that that's and that's, it's full of stereo. It's all stereo mm-hmm. with the roof cut off. It was a Targa. Yeah. Like on top of that, like fully custom, really yeah. cool cars. Uh, um, yeah. and then we walked around Fremont Street and just kind of wandered and had beers walking up and down. Yeah. And, then um, we were dis- and it was Halloween, so we, it was we were very disappointed by the. Um, the, the container park that was doing it was supposed uh, to be a good area to go hang out I, at it, yeah I think it is I, we'll have to I, go yeah back I don't there. think it was a disappointment I, so much I think it's we just timed a, it poorly yeah, we showed like up Halloween. during the family friendly trick or treating event yeah um, and a random mom was walking around asking everyone to vote for a kid yeah it was weird that was fun yeah um, PJ great times. PJ great just times. like I want to smoke a cigar. That's all PJ was thinking yeah. about. It's like, I just want to for, smoke this for yeah, two and a half hours. All, PJ just carried a cigar around. Give me my, and give all, me my cigarettes. All, all we were sitting there and we we're going, PJ, you didn't bring anything with you. And he goes, No, my wife said I wouldn't need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, there we, we are. Did, the cigar. How, how shop. was that cigar? I meant to ask you that last night. It was that, pretty good. We found uh, like it's a you small little cigar shop. Yeah, it was, it was good. a small little cigar shop selling hand rolled. You know, yeah, cigars the owners were making in house. Yeah. Stallone had been there. Yeah. What was Stallone's review? It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. Well, and I was confused because it was hey. like. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and cue 18 minutes of laughter. Um, but it was weird because it was like the size of a closet. It was it was That's generous four by <laughs> four by Prison ten. Cell? Yeah, it was. It was I've seen bad. closets bigger, it's but there bad. was pictures of celebrities buying cigars yeah. from that store. Well, he, said, like, he said that was a new location for them. They they yeah. used to be yeah. on Fremont Street, like down like in the Fremont yeah. Street experience, and you know, like most things that get a got premium real estate, yeah. real estate, yeah, got a, they got, got a premium. Booted, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he was cool. The guy, yeah. the guy we met there, they had a bunch of cool stuff in that store. Everything yeah. was hand rolled. There was yeah. a praying mantis that shot fire oh, out yeah, of that its was, antenna. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and danced, and danced. Yeah. Yeah. And then we walked the strip some more. We found Dan and uh, Kate. oh, Dan and Kate. Yeah, <laughs> those four guys. Yeah, they, oh, they yeah. They went to go show off a car that they have down here, and because we get stood the there, intersection, and we stood there with the them poor time. for no less than fifteen minutes. Oh yeah, it felt way longer than that. Yeah, just waiting for something. Yeah, because we were just kind of people watching it. Yeah, like, yeah, 
trying to figure out what we were going to do with the night because it was only 10. Not even at that point. Yeah. And we were all, all four of us were just mush yesterday. Yeah. And and we're we're, playing, well, we're standing in the crosswalk and there's all the bunch of SEMA cars going by and all that stuff. And Dan goes, I think I'll drive the Mustang by. It was just, yeah, yeah, we'll do a drive by. Yeah, it's $800 Mustang. Yeah. And then uh, all of a sudden, here comes the fuzz and the fire department to shut down before, the road. Before that, we saw the guy get tackled. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Well, that's because he was he was being a smart ass. He was yeah. being a smart ass. You yeah, step the, in front of a cop car, they're, they're, yep. yeah, they're going to. They, and they were, all they were trying to do was get to the other side, side of yeah. the intersection to sit there to close the road yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. And no, he all just, of a they're like, all right, you want to play? We'll play. Well, yeah, because he just sauntered across the car. They were honking him. They were blasting yeah. him with the siren. And he just kept, like, slow walking in front of him. And the cop in the passenger seat said, like, cool, you fucked around, and now you're going to find, find out. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they went and chased him through the crowd. And It was it was the lady cop that went. She was booking it. Because he got up. He walks up. He just starts calling it in, calling down to the guys that are clearly down at the other intersection yeah. getting shut down. Can't, out, can't outrun the radio. And, no. he, and here comes lady police officer just taking a just hard left she through the crowd. Booking. And she took off off it was insane yeah. and then we got to watch a light show and that's yeah. why the road yeah. got shut down and at uh, every hour on the hour gets shut down yep. for like 15 minutes yep. yeah, as we learned and then uh, and, and we, dan and kate we, learned the the, the lane got shut down and tom got a text from dan that just said <laughs> we're stuck in freaking traffic, traffic. <laughs> i feel <laughs> bad i don't but <laughs> All we were bit. doing was watching them shut down. I think the, the best part was we st- <clears throat> we, we st- saw it happen. We're like, oh, oh, they're <clears throat> shutting the. Oh, but we even, Kate. we even oh, stood no. there for like twenty minutes after, like thinking they were going to reopen the intersection. Oh yeah, and then not <laughs> like, realizing. <laughs> oh, are you good? <laughs> okay. Ugh. But yeah, we stood there, assuming that they were just going to reopen the street right after, and. Another 15 minutes goes by and the street's still shut down. There's a whole show going on. Yeah, I, I think and that was after PJ had sucked down his cigar. Yeah, we had just kind of yeah gave good. up at that it's point. Pretty good. And then we, we went got, to oh, the. And then we went to the. We went to that. This was, well, this was supposed to be a whiskey bar, but it wasn't a whiskey bar. It was like a family restaurant. Overrated. <laughs> it was like an overrated Fridays. <laughs> uh, oh, and that guy stormed that guy out. stormed out. It was like <laughs> this place is bullshit. We're like really two for two. <laughs> and so I go over to <laughs> twice, ask. Twice, 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 two days. I, I go. I go and ask him. We go. So were you a local or, or do you? <laughs> and you got so so he was, he's like fuck all you all local. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so he must be must be telling the truth. Truth. That was I, so I wild. The food was good. The food was great, but uh, they, but we realized afterwards why he was doing. Yeah, it. we we think we think they they may have walked out on the bill because it was a group was, of ten or twelve people. Yeah, it was a big yeah. group, and th- there was definitely some uh, noticeable strife from the oh, servers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. So yeah, was, there was definitely something going on there that was more to the story because the food was was good. It was really good. Uh, and PJ couldn't find the bottom of the bowl of nachos. Oh, yeah. those were good. Yeah. Those. were <laughs> It's a great review. <laughs> Five stars. Hey, I was those I couldn't find the bottom of the nachos. <laughs> they didn't give me a bottom. That's 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 the review, bro. That five star review is just called that's they were good. They were good. They were good. <laughs> what Amazon makes them good? I couldn't find the bottom. <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> Keep it up. All, minus all the jalapenos. He didn't yeah. like the jalapenos. Yeah. No, I, well, well we, and learned, I, we learned I, PJ doesn't like jalapenos. And I yeah. and I told him because I they they were good. Jalapenos, we were sharing yeah. them. I took that first bite. I just looked at him and went, "You were good to stay away from the jalapenos. Yeah. The jalapenos <laughs> kind of soaked into the chips at the bottom. The yeah, jalapenos. they did. They were delicious. But <laughs> they were good. They were very good. Hmm. And then uh, a repeat of. Sunday night in Flagstaff where we all hit the bed and fell asleep immediately. Yep. The benefit is we each have our own bed in Vegas. Yes. Yes. We don't have to share no anymore. Snuggles. Not ass to ass anymore. <laughs> yeah. No gay barrier. Uh, <laughs> no gay barrier. <laughs> but yeah, that was the... Uh, and on that note... That, uh, that was our trip. Um, it was, it was a hell of a good time. It was I'm, incredibly I'm, enjoyable. Yeah, I'm disappointed I'm not going to be it, there for... It was an easier drive than I Way easier than I expected anticipated. Yeah. Um, Literally hit zero traffic yeah. the entire time. 
No, 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 we did. Albuquerque. Oh, that's Albuquerque. right. Yeah, it was yeah. like a phantom 45, accident. And almost that's, 45 minutes. And that's so. where Tom. Oh, I got angry. My jersey <laughs> driver came out in Albuquerque. So angry because the, there were so many 18 wheelers. <laughs> and they're Why is everyone 55? doing 55? Oh, the speed limit is 55. Weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's weird. Everyone's doing the speed limit. And then out of nowhere, he goes, Screw these guys. I'm getting out of here. And just starts weaving <laughs> traffic. It. Those Cher- those Cherokees, man. They, and then, they, then I looked at nimble. Google Maps. I looked at Google Maps on the, on the, big on the screen. screen. I'm like, Tom, that shit says 55, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. As he's coming down from 95. <laughs> It's a nimble little. You <laughs> pulled that car, dude. PJ and I got that thing up to like 26 miles per gallon, and then you drove for six hours. It was it- 24.9 after I was no, done. No, the no, second it time. No, it wasn't because I started driving, and it was 19.8. <laughs> She took six points. And I got us here ahead of schedule. <laughs> took six points. That's because you didn't plan the trip right. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I'm making great time. <laughs> I love time zones. <laughs> Man, we we pulled in here and we're three hours ahead of schedule. Fucking idiot. <laughs> we're going to, we're going across country. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're officially off the rail. <laughs> it's <been> like <laughs> five minutes of laughing. Jesus Christ! All right, we're back. Welcome back to the dirt track. Uh, um, uh, uh, gas mileage is overrated. It's all about smiles per gallon, everybody. Smiles, yeah, smiles per gallon. Per gallon. Or in our case, smiles you, smiles you, per you mile. Kill, you kill or miles or per case, gallon. How many times can we freak PJ out between each gas stop? <laughs> how how many sketchy gas stations can we find? <laughs> Um, PJ almost got murdered three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so great. PJ wins the most murdered award for the drive. <laughs> He's still most not likely murdered. to be murdered. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm jealous of the road trip back home. Yeah. That's you guys are gonna have a lot of fun rolling up seventy. Yeah. Um on Saturday morning. Except in yeah. Kansas. Yeah, Kansas is always the hard part. Yeah, you know our Kansas is worse. Our Kansas <laughs> is definitely worse. Kansas is at least like nice. Like, the, Arkansas wasn't nice. It was just there. It just existed. Kansas only sucks because it's the same thing for, like, 700 miles. And then like our Kansas, Kansas except for yeah. worse. They're basically two states. <laughs> you just drive through well, them. One's inhabited by pirates. <laughs> yeah, one's inhabited by pirates. Arr, arr. Prepare to be barred, <laughs> Uh, why, you, why are your voices so good, PJ? All the time, your whatever voice you do, it it just it really nails it. <laughs> and this, yeah, uh, this is uh, probably the best indication of what we were like for thirty six hours of just driving. Delirious. We, yeah. And now we're just sick and tired of each other. So it's yeah. hilarious that we're still not dead. That's why we're all we're gonna go to bed at ten o'clock in Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah. We, we 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 actually could be the first people to fall asleep in this city. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh um, shit. But, but yeah, that trip. That's it guys. That yeah, was pretty our road trip. Thanks for le- letting us ramble about it. I can't wait Part to Part two it. and three of this series are gonna be good though, because like like after day one of SEMA, like oh, lot, yeah. a lot of cool stuff <laughs> yeah. going on. Um, yeah, we and took, we're only first day in. Like we didn't even cover the whole show. Yep. Or even um, uh, not even half of it. Uh, and um, then our drive home. Yeah. Should we should bring some good stories. Yep. And, yeah. And, and shenanigans. As long as we don't die. Don't yeah. do that. I yeah, need, that's I need, the easy part. Not dying is the easy part. It's living that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's no. kind of depressing. No. 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 Oh, no, no. Um, but thank you for listening this week, guys. I know we kind of rambled a little bit. Yeah. Um, you, got, you got an excellent introduction to PJ's voices. Yeah, PJ. PJ's going to be with us for a while. I think uh, the next, in a few weeks, we're going to have Tom out for a few weeks. Yeah. Um, so PJ's going to sit in as a, a permanent guest nerd. Oh, wow. I see how it is. Or, well, semi <laughs> semi permanent guest place, for, like, for like three episodes. <laughs> I got. I, I, it's been real, kid. <laughs> it's been Get real. out. Sorry for having a life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. You've been bitching about all the traveling you've got to do. Oh yeah, I'm so sick of it. <laughs> I love my friends and my family, but uh, next year everybody's coming to visit me. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. anywhere. And 
Thankfully, all of her friends will be married by then, so yeah. we don't have any weddings to deal with. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, but anyways, that's another episode. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for following us. And you can follow us anywhere social um, at the Dirt Drive. Yep. Um, we're going to get some... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, DirtNerdsOffRoad.com. DirtNerdsOffRoad.com and uh, uh, Dirt Nerds Off Road YouTube. So you guys, um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get a few more good days of SEMA coverage, and we will we'll we'll, we'll bring another episode next week about uh, about SEMA. <laughs> Thanks yep. for listening, guys. <laughs> <laughs>